After years of losing customers to online do-it-yourself bookings, is the good old-fashioned brick-and-mortar travel agency making a comeback? It appears it may be. And here with the story is WSJ Middle Seat columnist Scott McCartney and the founder of Departure Lounge in Austin, Texas, Keith Walden. Welcome to both of you. Scott, let me start with you. Wasn't the travel agency business essentially written off until very recently? Well, I think it, uh, to a large extent, although travel agents would remind you that uh, that a, a large number of them have continued, um, and and I think we've seen growth in several areas, um, certainly with with corporate travel agencies, but but also luxury travel bookers. I think there's a sense that uh, more and more people who are spending tens of thousands of dollars on trips uh, really are looking for advice, just as they uh, they may look for advice on their taxes or their accounting or, or whatever, that uh, these are major purchases and, and they're getting tired and frustrated with trying to self-book. Yeah, absolutely. And Keith, you seem to have positioned yourself well ahead of the trend. What made you think, hey, yeah, let me open a travel agency? Years, and I watched the trend of travel agencies disappearing from the street. And so for most 45-year-olds in most cities, if you ask them, What's a travel advisor and where can I find one? They don't know because most travel agencies have gone to office towers and out of the way places. So it's made the industry a bit invisible. And uh, after watching this over the last 25, 30 years, I decided travel needed to come back to the street in a way that made sense for today. And that's what we've done at Departure Lounge. And you've made it then much more than a travel agency, correct? What, what are the range of services or experiences you get at the Departure Lounge? Well, we have a lounge setting where you can have a cappuccino or a glass of wine or a glass of champagne uh, or a cheese plate, and it makes the clients sit down, relax, put their phones away, talk to each other, talk to us, so that we can really have a good exchange to get to know them and get to know what their vision for their trip is. That gives us everything that we need to put together an amazing vacation. So, Scott, in the other cases that you studied, you know, looking at Keith's departure lounge, this certainly does not seem to be our parents' travel agency. Does the new breed of travel agency, at least the one that's successful, always come with a bit of a twist? Yeah, I think so. I think travel agents are, are getting creative about how they uh, how, how they address the problem of becoming relevant again. Um, there's a, a London-based agency called Black Tomato, which has expanded quite a bit in the United States. The United States now it's the largest market, and uh, and it's it's started by uh, three twenty-somethings, um, not your not your grand not your father's travel agency. <laughs> um, they focus on adventure tours, on personal experiences, uh, on on a lot of things that luxury travel agents do in, in a creative way. Liberty Travel, which is one of the largest uh, leisure travel agencies, is opened a kiosk at an upscale mall in uh, Tyson's Corner, Virginia. Um, it, you know, you, you, I think there's a realization, as, as Keith said, um, you got to go where the people are and uh, get in front of them um, if you're, if you're going to be relevant. So, Keith, you know, even though you offer all of these other things, wine, cappuccino, the rest of it, 80 percent of your revenue comes from travel bookings. Is that right? That's correct. Yes. And how how's business? How's it going? You know, uh, last year we had an 86% increase in revenue on travel, which was remarkable. And this year has come out of the gates uh, even stronger. So uh, people really relate to having the experience. We also bring to the table a host of client benefits that we get through the Virtuoso Network. So our clients also like the VIP perks and upgrades, but they really like the personal connection with the travel advisor that gets to know them. Mm -hmm. And therefore, with each trip, they don't have to start new with telling someone about them. We know them. And then we just have to put all the right pieces together to create a great trip. So again, it seems to be there's nothing like that eye to eye contact when making a sale. I I'm curious, what kinds of trips are you most successful with? The high end luxury trips, family trips, adventure travel? We do it all. We have, you know, we're based in Austin, and so there's a lot of adventurous, active adventure travelers here. We do a lot of cruises all over the world. Uh, we do custom trips and tours, private tours, group tours. Uh, we do everything. Uh, our sweet spot is four to five star travel because that's where we have our best connections and our best leverage and upgrades to the Virtuoso Network. Mm -hmm. uh, but we inspire travel. I'm from a small town in Northeast Texas and I believe travel is a very good thing. And so whatever we can do to help, even if uh, you know it's giving somebody some tips on hostels and backpacking, we'll do it. 
Uh, we're not always able to book that, but we'll certainly help. I think, Scott, you would agree travel is a good thing. Um, do you think that agencies that are positioned to thrive in this climate are the ones that offer the more unusual bookings? Yeah, I think so, because I think travelers are looking for that. I think, I think uh, you know, people who have traveled a lot want to go new places, uh, different places, um, they want to get off the beaten path. They, they want to experience uh, local places, and, uh, and they need help doing that. It, it gets, gets harder and harder to book online the more uh, detailed you want to get, uh, the more adventurous you want to get. Right. All right, Scott, thank you for that. Keith, sounds like you've hit on a good idea. Any plans to franchise? Yes, absolutely. We're building out our franchise prototype in West Austin. We should have that open by June. Uh, and then we'll expand to other markets. We definitely see a great future for what we're doing. All right. Thank you both for that. Thank you. Take care.